Today's gospel is about the parable of the sheepfold. I'm a city kid. I don't have much about sheep, so I had to do so worse. It's an enclosure made of stones to protect the sheep, and there's an opening, there's one way in, and there's one way out. Uh, so that's the gate that the shepherd comes in to collect the sheep, and there's a gatekeeper. And Jesus is both the gate and the gatekeeper. So Jesus promises his life, promises it abundantly. He's risen from the dead, so we have promises for now, not just in eternity. Many voices are distracting. Certainly my phone is one of the worst distractions. The internet is a distraction. Demands of day-to-day life are distractions. Looking the kids to school on time, catching the train, closing a business contract. So how amidst all this noise and distraction do we hear the voice of Jesus? It would be great if in the midst of my blessed day, I would hear a message that would say, and now here's a message from your sponsor. That hasn't happened to me yet, at least. I find it takes quiet time and prayer and reflection to discern what I'm hearing. In my own experience, I find that best in the shower. So once I think I'm hearing the right voices, how do I know what is the right voice? That a good touchstone is that the good shepherd could be a unifying voice and not a distracting one. It's a voice that leads me out, leads me out of that sheepfold into the world and makes some kind of additions. It's leading me toward an abundant before life. So what makes for a full and abundant life? For me, it's family, it's education, it's community, it's offering help and support. Another touchstone for me was that the voice is a unifying voice, not a divisive. The shepherd didn't have red sheep and blue sheep. He had sheep. Oftentimes in this world, we're fault to fall, find our voice. Today's gospel is about finding Jesus' voice and having the faith to follow his voice.